What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We are about to get into Cassie's lawyer's response to Diddy's uh, unapologetic video today. All right. And before we get into that, I just want y'all to know it's a lot of men forgiving Diddy like instantly. Like Diddy was like, man, I'm sorry. He was, <laughs> this is how he was. My actions that y'all seen in that video, my fault. What I did to her and in that video, I'm disgusted about that video. I should have known better and I should have did better. I was in a dark space in that video. But I just want y'all to know that I got to be a better man and I'm a better man today. My fault. And the niggas ate that shit up. They was like, yes, yes, Big Daddy, you did the right thing. We love you, Diddy. I stand behind you. Now, what stood out to me the most is when he said in that video, it really, really, really pissed me off. And I want to tell y'all why. He has done so many things off of camera and to so many women. What he did was apologize for what happened in that video blankly in that video not to all of his victims that he has harassed women mostly because it's men included as well over the years also he claims as if he is taking responsibility for what he has done and unfortunately that is also capped because just two weeks maybe a month ago he was saying that everybody was looking for a bag. Cassie's looking for a bag. She's looking for a bag. Jaguar Wright's looking for a bag. Rodney's looking for a bag. Everybody was looking for a bag when, in fact, everything that they were saying was true. So just a couple weeks ago, maybe a month, you was just saying that all of this was capped. But today, you stand on the video. So him standing on the video is because, oh, damn, I done got caught. Let me apologize. Now, don't get me wrong. I feel like Mango's chewing on something. <laughs> don't get me wrong. People do stuff. Things do happen. People have rage moments. I feel like we've all been there, right? How many women know <laughs> we got to do this too? And not only that, I mean, throwing her down, it's one thing to throw anybody down, right? Because clearly you got the best of her, right? Boom, you throw her down. But this sorry nigga kicked her. He kicked her like he was about to hit a goal at the soccer game, all right? He was acting as if he was Atlanta, uh, Atlanta, because y'all know Atlanta got a good soccer team. He was trying to kick her ass like he was kicking, not trying, excuse me, because he did kick her like a ball. Do you hear me? I mean, if a nigga had to run back and kick like a, like he was trying to kick a field goal for uh whatever football team that y'all, you know, rooting for. So not only that, the nigga stomped her. That type of shit. Everybody done got a slap or two. Maybe got punched in the face. Maybe got grabbed up. Sometimes, you know, as humans, we do shit. It does happen. That's a fact. But I'm already down, gang. I'm on the ground. I'm on the ground. You, you get what I'm saying? <laughs> and you still kick and stomp me? Like you a woman? Like like I'm your equal? That is crazy to me. Yes, the real visual is on Patreon. Okay, I reacted to it on Patreon. For those that don't tap into Patreon, I don't know why I don't get it. I react to everything that won't go on here. Okay, 
Tap in if you want to. The link is in the description. And if you don't, girl, don't. Cassie decides, you know what? I'm going to sue this nigga. She sued him. And instantly the next day, we all like, yo, <laughs> Diddy's case was, uh, they came to an agreement. An agreement, but in the process of that, what he said was she was doing a money grab. This ain't nothing but a money grab. She lying. So we all like, oh, well, maybe she is lying until he settled it. In 24 hours, you settled it? Why? I thought you didn't do nothing. Y'all, this nigga came out today <laughs> with this crybaby sorrow as fake fake apology and this is what her lawyer had to say okay and I quote and I can't wait to read it because she said it the way I would have said it well that's a lie but she said it in a more educated way but she said it the way I would have meant it her name is Meredith Firetog I hate that but anyway Combs most recent statement is more about himself than the many people he has hurt. Notice that she said many when Cassie London closed my door when Cassie and multiple other women came forward, he denied everything and suggested that his victims were looking for a payday. Okay. That he was only compelled to apologize once his repeated denials were proven false shows his pathetic desperation. Hello? And no one will be swayed by his disingenuous words. Now, I definitely wouldn't have never said it like that. She's very educated. But not that I'm not educated, but with words, I ain't that good with them. But she said what she had to say. In other words, let me put this in nigga terms. He only saying this because he got caught. That's what she's saying. All right. So this is him right here today. Outside. Smoking a blunt. <laughs> Probably dancing to some bad boy. All right. And here we are. Keep that same energy for Diddy. For Krishan. <laughs> I'm so glad you brought that up. I just wanted to show y'all Diddy. And how he is and, and where he is and that apology was fake. See, the difference between Diddy and Krishan. Krishan ain't apologetic for what she has done. And I'm going to tell you why. In some of those cases, especially that she went through, they was doing shit to her. But in some cases, she was hitting people. And guess who ass is dealing with the courts now? Krishan. Which means she got to pay the piper for what she did. But Krishan didn't come out here and get no fake ass apology. So if we want to be real, that's what I'm speaking about. But not only that, Krishan is fighting women. She hit a man. Clearly we're dealing with that. <laughs> he should have hit her ass back, like I said. But Krishan was hitting women. P. Diddy was hitting women. He's a man. Not the same. I know y'all want to throw Krishan under the bus and you hate her so much and all that. Feel free. Have that feel down your own channel, not mine. But Krishan didn't come out with no fake ass apology. Krishan actually stood on what she did aside from James. That's the only one she actually lied about, which I absolutely don't agree with. But guess what? She's in court. She got to deal with that. She got to pay the piper. You know what the problem is with Diddy? He ain't got to go to court for this. Because the statute of limitations, I'm so glad you brought that up. Let's talk about it for real if we're going to talk about it. Diddy is a grown man, almost 60 years old, doing that to a woman. Yeah, it's no comparison, hon. Sit this one out. Diddy, literally, and the topic was Diddy. I don't know how Krishan got in it, but we'll deal with that later. We're going to get back to Diddy. Um, Diddy has no sympathy at all. And I mean, not even a little bit for what he did. And I just want to see where this is about to go. But what I did want to talk about 
is uh with that lawyer's response. That lawyer said what she needed to say and it, what needed to happen needed to happen in that moment. But um, somebody was absolutely right about that statute of limitation because I actually challenged that person. <laughs> and I don't know who she is, but she said, Neek, nothing's going to happen to him because of the statute of limitation. And I was like, damn. <laughs> damn. They really not going to do nothing about that. Maybe they could have. If she would have. If she would have went to trial with the nigga. But she decided to take that 30 million. Let me ask y'all a question. Would y'all have taken that 30 million? I want to know. Would y'all have taken that 30 million? Or would y'all have stood in that fight with him? Girl, I would have I would have stayed in it. Well, <laughs> it depends on if she if she broke right now. Because times are hard, but I would have wanted to stay in it. Y'all say I would have took the money. <laughs> Look, what makes y'all want to take the money? Like, if you know that you could potentially get more than that, what makes you want to take the money? Hell, the fuck now we was going to court. Oh, you say, hell no, we going to court. <laughs> Sean Don said that nigga would kill you. I think it's helping other open cases. Yeah, I would have took 30 million. I would have stood strong because she would have gotten more. No amount of money is going to heal me. And that's a fact. But money can help. Uh, I'm sorry. Like, even if we go to trial, I ain't going to lie. The goal for me would be to get more money. The problem, I'm going to tell y'all why. You ain't going to be healed regardless. If he go do time, you're not going to be healed. If somebody kill him, you're not going to be healed. If you kill him, you're not going to be healed. Money makes things a little better. Okay. Just a little better. So I would have to take that back. If y'all want to see my reaction to him doing what he, what he did to her, tap into the pinned comment on the Patreon. And for those that want to see copyrighted content that you always miss, I react to baddies. I react to crazy in love. I react to um, bad boys. Whatever is going on on Zeus, I react to it. And it's on the Patreon. $5 a month. Um... I'm in an abusive relationship and I left. I was hard. What? Type that again. I feel like going to trial would have brought more awareness to the demon that he really is. Yeah. Thank you, Ghost Bunny, for second for seconding, seconding the Patreon. She could have got more in one. She ended up unaliving herself due to trauma. Oh, man. I can only imagine the stuff that that woman went through for real. It was hard, but I left. It was my husband. I understand. She probably didn't want to go through the trauma. Yeah, but look, she already in it. That fast. Already in it. Literally that fast. It's unfortunate that we really can't run away from it. None of our traumas. We all got trauma. We can't run away from. And I, you know. Man, thing is, he could rot in jail, but then won't un that won't un I guess undo the damage, and at least she got some out of it. That's all I'm saying. Money would be your best bet in a traumatic situation. That's why they have payments and settlements. Cause I can't I can't give you back what happened. I, like I can't take it away. I would rather go through my trauma publicly with me controlling it than coming out even after I settled. Man. Kia, I know she was like, damn, I done settled out for 30 million. And this nigga, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it came out anyway. You know, Cassie was on CNN today. Where is that at? Where is that at? Nick, when I got on Patreon, went down the rabbit hole of videos, whoo, and then got to the one. Yeah, Drake Penis is on my Patreon, too. <laughs> I hate to say it like that, but you know, when he was throwing that thing around, mm -hmm, it's on there. Uh, she probably didn't want to face him again. Where is the CNN link? I'm going to react to it and put it on Patreon. Cassie Best Friend was on CNN. Send me the link. 
Send me the link, please, so I can put it on my Patreon. There were so many reports. Some, there were some reports that she got nine figures. Who knows how many she really got? I hope she got more than 30 million. Just say that. Nine figures is crazy. Wait, nine figures. Oh, no. That'll be a good bag. Wait. Okay, because that'll be seven. Oh, we're going to find out. It'll come out soon. But, yeah, I just wanted to talk to y'all about that right quick. I'm not getting off the live, but I am about to end this video. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. I'm done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.